Good morning. We are Teton X Adventure Trailers out of St. George, Utah. And this is our Teton X Hybrid. And this is the first composite model. New to this model, we, um, we've been doing the hybrid for a couple of years now. The, this new model has a handful of new features. Um, the biggest feature being not just the build materials that are composite, but the 54 inch entry door. So it is still a 10 foot, 10 inch body, but it has a 54 inch door. So it's got a more traditional step in, even though it's still the same small footprint. This trailer is still under 3000 pounds. So very popular with the forerunners, the Jeeps, handful of awesome features, full size screen door, um, stainless steel woven mesh and no CM netting. So that allows you to lock yourself in safely and keep the airflow flow going. There's um, obviously this whole slide out kitchen here. Um, this kind of sets up and packs up within seconds. You can just slide that closed, slide the whole thing in, out. So we wanted everything to have a, a dedicated space and a dedicated home with no setup time. Slide out two drawer pantry. And in this pantry is, a, that's a 10 piece cooking set. Um, room for pots, pans, um, pantry items, and then a refrigerator. And this is the Truma 60 liter. You can also use the Dometic 75 dual zone in this space. So a very nice, large U-shaped cooking area, obviously all underneath the shade. Um, I am 5'5". Five five. As you can see, I have tons of room underneath this awning. We are also on an air ride suspension, so our tall friends can raise the whole thing up and get even more room. And our short friends can lower it down and get a little bit better cooking height. So a good adjustability there. This is the 270 degree awning. So obviously full coverage all the way around. Uh, full size spare tire, of course. And then these are a new Molly panel that we just added. So we can have them on both sides. So depending on what accessories you want to use and how you want to set that up, they're just super universal to hang anything, obviously, trash roo. And there's just some extra storage over here, portable solar power water fill and rooftop solar as well, which you can't see. We use the Truma products. So this is the Truma AquaGo. Comfort Plus. It's an on-demand recirc water system. Uh, Truma Vario heat furnace. Uh, 10 fan speed, night mode, super quiet, crazy efficient. We absolutely love all of the Truma products. They're just a great asset to the trailer. Full size locking tongue box. This is the 55 inch box. Um, handful of new features on this model with the new composite model and the extra length. So it was 10 foot, it's now 10 foot 10. We also changed the way that we were doing the chassis and the tongue. So this is a two by five steel construction on the chassis. And this is the Cruise Master DO35 hitch. Handful of different ways to set up the propane. This is the 10 pound running the furnace and the hot water heater. You can do 10s, 20s, whatever makes sense for your camping setup. You'll also notice in this model, we have the full pop with the, this, this particular one has five windows in the pop top. So that's a 25 inch pop. And that allows us to do the dedicated bed on the inside as well as bunk beds for the kids. So we can do up to a 54 inch bunk. And so your kids will be up in that upper space. Okay, so we have the 54 inch door, the full screen, which of course clip together and out of the way, there's a privacy shade. So if you wanna, when you're inside at night, you're completely locked in. And then um, a more traditional step in instead of the small teardrop door. What you're seeing right here, we've got the Lagoon table mount. And what's nice about this is you can just kind of swivel this any way you want. Table drops down into the bed platform. The mattresses come flat and that's your east west queen bed. You can also take a second table that's this exact same size and put it in front of the first table and then take those panels and put them this direction. And that's a north south queen bed. And that gives you, so the end of the bed in that mode comes to the end of this. So that gives you 22 inches of floor space with a north-south bed. And you can center that bed and have eight inches on each side of the bed, 
or you can add an extra 16 inch mattress and have a 76 by 76 inch bed. So essentially a king bed. This area is what we're kind of calling the flex storage space. So this is kind of a placeholder cabinet. This isn't a finished product, but this space, this 22 by 20 space can be done in a handful of different ways. You can do a sink in this. You can do three drawers in here. You can keep it level with the bottom and do a single, uh, single drawer and then have more bench sitting, seating all the way across. You can go further up with it with more drawers and do a full wardrobe. Um, we've got a handful of different options for that. You can also do a toilet cabinet. So if you want a toilet on the inside that's in a cabinet that's concealed, that fits here. So this is kind of a flex space to just sort of make this fit whatever your camping needs are. The shelves are not installed right now, but there are two shelves right here that hinge up out of the way. So you can use this space as wide open storage like you see it now or sleeping, or you can drop those shelves down and kind of divvy up your stuff a little bit better. You also have access from here to the refrigerator. So when that slid in, you can get to the refrigerator from the inside. So for the toilet on the inside, you, we use the Dometic, uh, five, I think it's a five gallon toilet. So that's a self-contained flushing unit. So it lives in there. You can open it up, sit on it in there. And then when it's time to take it out, it just unclips and then you can take it out to dump it, or you can take it and put it into the shower room outside and use it as an outside toilet. So a lot of people will kind of use that outside during the day and then bring it inside at night. Um, little kids or somebody that's up, if you're in bear country and you don't want to go outside at night and wonder what's out there, it's kind of nice to have that space in here. And as you can see with the north-south bed, you know, you've got that whole space here. With the queen bed, you've got, I believe it's 36 inches at the end of the bed to the front of the cabinet. So, so it has kind of a, a hinged lid. So you sort of open the cabinet, open the lid, you can sit on it right there. So you don't have to move it to use it, you just have to open the cabinet. And you don't have to have the cabinet. We can do the space blank and you can just set it there. So it's if you want it concealed, you can. If you want it just out and super accessible, you can. We have 30 gallons of onboard water for this model. We have up to five windows available. They are an optional window. You can choose one, you can choose all five. They're a three part um, window. So you've got, of course, a privacy flap and then you have glass. And then you have a hard sewn in bug screen. So that's a no seam netting. So if you open up all five of those and the door, you've got a ton of air flow in here, as well as just the extra light. We do offer an extra insulation package. So you can leave the roof up and keep uh, plenty cool, plenty hot, whatever you're trying to do. And that insulation package also works as a blackout layer. So as you can see, there's a lot of light in here. I don't have any lights on. This is all just daylight coming in. And that um, blackout is nice if you want to sleep in in the morning. And then of course you can cover up the fan and have that, that blocked out as well. And as you can see, so there's six foot eight standing space. So I'm five five, I'm standing flat footed and that's the top of the, the roof. So quite a bit of headroom for our taller friends. We can do rooftop air conditioning. Uh, right now we're looking into the Truma. Truma's just releasing a rooftop air conditioning unit. It's a, it's a, it's 110. a 110. It's a 110. Uh, Dometic has the CFX. Uh, CFX 1000 and CFX 2000. Which are 12 volt units as well, so complete off grid. So we've got a couple of options in that. We love off grid and our customers love off grid, so we can do full off grid air conditioning but we do love everything about Truma. So any product of theirs that we can incorporate, the quality is just the quality, the customer service, the products are just hands down amazing. So we do offer both of those options. Well, we're just releasing our new uh, cake suspension. It's a uh, swing arm with an airbag, double shock. So we've got an airlift controller and allows us to operate independently tires up and down. So we can actually adjust this at camp we can adjust the ride height for highway speed. We can adjust the ride height if we're on the trail. A very robust suspension arm, so it takes a good beating and um, uh, complete eccentrics on it. So we've got toe and camber adjustment as well. So our price point starts at 30, 
and then build from there. We build everything from that on up past 60. So depending on how much gear everybody wants in, um, makes a nice campable trailer at about 35. 